guys, what's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. Today I am going to share with you guys what is on my WeChat. What is on my WeChat? <laughs> I just had coffee, that's why. Sorry. <laughs> so yeah, this video is going to be a little bit different. I am just going to talk into my beautiful microphone here that I got via my Patreon. So thank you very much to my Patreon followers. I love you. Thank you so much. And there is going to be no picture of Ling Ling. So you're probably going to miss me, but that's okay. I'll be back in the outro. <laughs> Anyways, so without further ado, let's just get started on this video. There is this concept called official WeChat accounts where you can follow different accounts, your favorite restaurant, your favorite news agency or just like different people that's popular online. And today I'm going to share with you guys some of the most interesting ones that I am following. I'm not going to introduce all of them because I'm following a lot and some of them might not be in your interest, but I'll try to show you the most interesting ones. Number one I can see here on my WeChat right now is the Yang Shishun. So I'm following CCTV both in English and Chinese. Basically, it's for me to practice more Chinese, not saying that I do it too much, but yeah, I try, <laughs> you know. So the first one is Yang Shishun in Chinese. I am also following CCTV Life. So again, it is in Chinese for me to practice more Chinese. Here I can read a lot about different like healthy food or you know if they discover now you should eat this instead of that or you know like totally the same as abroad just in Chinese. I think that's a great way to practice more Chinese if you don't really know how to push yourself. Okay we're gonna go out again and then the next one I'm following that I want to introduce to you guys is called Job Tube daily. I think this one is pretty amazing. First, if you're looking for a job, then that is the place to check out because there are a lot of different job opportunities here and you can also read news. Let's move on to the next one. So again, it's a Chinese one. This, called, this one is called Inside China. It's just talking a lot about different things. You can see here that the Chinese, they really like their gifts. So they make small videos out of the pictures and you can practice your Chinese. I think that is pretty freaking amazing. I actually want to do this more like read more on my WeChat. I'm following so many different cool WeChat official channels but I just don't read enough. Let's move on to the next one, the Beijinger. If you are in Beijing then I think Beijinger is obviously one of the official channels you should for sure follow. They do share some activities from Beijing, like what you can go and see, and of course news about Beijing, but they also do share news about everywhere else. So I think that one is for sure a must-have in your WeChat account. Then the next one here is Do Job. That one has a lot, a lot, a lot of job opportunities, both like full-time and part-time. Then I have something for like entrepreneurs and like different things and also for my school of course. The next one is about traveling. So I like backpacking. So this one is about Chinese people who are do back doing backpacking. And yes, there are Chinese people who do that. It's quite interesting. So yeah, you can also read stories about these things. And again, an amazing way to learn more Chinese. Okay, we're moving on. I'm talking too much here. Ling Ling, get going. Shanghai East was one of my freaking favorites. I heard that it was closing down, but they're still sharing news. So I don't really know what's going on here. But yeah, I guess uh, I guess if it keeps, it keeps sharing, then I guess it's still going on. So you should definitely check out Shanghai East as well. Of course, it's even more important if you are in Shanghai, but it's actually a really great channel even though you're not. I just use it for news. They have a lot of fun news there. Then I have CGTN official. So that is the international part of CCTV. They also have a lot of news. It's mostly in English. So if you don't want to study your Chinese or practice your Chinese or if you just your Chinese is not good enough then you can check out this one they have a lot of good news and you can follow what's going on in China and a little bit around the world as well mostly in China though I really like that then we're going down to women of China I like this one because it's just telling interesting stories about Chinese 
female entrepreneurs like I feel like China is a very male powered society so it's really nice to see that some Chinese girls are really rocking here as well again if you want to practice your Chinese this one is called 健康生活小 so this is about staying healthy you can kind of follow like what do Chinese people think is health and how do they stay healthy what do they suggest you to eat we're moving on Jing jobs here pretty amazing official channel they have a lot of really cool events both in Shanghai and Beijing they also have a lot of internship opportunities work opportunities and a little bit of news here and there but mostly it's about work that's Beijing again if you're in Beijing you should definitely follow this one also if you just want to read news about China but yeah they also have a lot of interesting news I really love these news that <laughs> read this title Beijing's rapid removal of rooftop signs causes confusion literally the Chinese the Beijing government they decided to remove all um, <laughs> they decided to remove all characters from the top of buildings in Beijing and then they realized oh people can't find the buildings anymore so now they put them back I have no idea why they thought that was a good idea in the first place apparently they just wanted to clean up the city so anyways <laughs> we're moving on guide in China is also very good you can read more about what you should and should not do in China and also just about what's going on it's a little more like random here and there but I do read some of the news sometimes and again they also have a lot of job opportunities and a little bit of Chinese language studying let's move on to the next one so again my school CCTV I'm also following the Danish uh, embassy obviously I can uh, you know read a little bit about my own country and be like oh we're doing that we're doing this like it's kind of it's kind of interesting how they are advertising for Denmark we have China daily here it's a mix of English and Chinese I kind of like that I think actually the news are like half half so you can read it in Chinese first and then it is in English afterwards but guys I'm telling you remember to put your hand over the English part while you're reading the Chinese I always fool myself and read the English first which is a bad habit <laughs> so yeah China Daily also a good one to follow if you're in Beijing then Beijing Bookworm is a really cool place to go there are a lot of networking events there there are a lot of different events there and it's just a really cool place yeah you can rent books there as well or buy books if you want to the next one is Panda Guides Official I don't know if I should suggest this one like sometimes it's really weird and I don't know but you know there are a few things that you could learn from it I guess but don't trust everything they say here then I'm following some musicians I'm following Jocelyn of course you should follow her if you want to practice is more Chinese than oh my god Xiaoba is also very good it's foreigners who are making a lot of fun videos sometimes it's a little crazy I'm like mm, I don't know if that was so much fun but you know again it's a way for you to practice they do a lot of like street interviews as well interview Chinese people and foreigners and here you can see they just have a lot of stuff going on so again it's I feel like it's just an, a nice way to practice Chinese because there's not so much text and it's just not as dull okay I have a few more I know I have to finish up here okay the first one the F word <laughs> I don't know how much they actually share anymore but these two girls Chinese girls if you're a girl and you want to hear some Something about like how Chinese girls they think and talk about like very you know intimate taboo taboo kind of things like about you know sex and periods and boys and whatnot then this is definitely the one to follow there is also interns in Beijing that one is freaking amazing I go to a lot of their events and then 500 startups again if you want to practice some Chinese and if you're a little bit of an entrepreneur then that one is also one to follow and in the end startup grind for sure something you have to or one channel you have to follow this one has a lot of really cool events I always go to their events and it's so much fun I meet so many new interesting people so I would definitely suggest you follow this one as well and the last one if you want to practice some more Chinese check out LTL daily Chinese LTL is a Chinese language school I went there before I did an internship there as well they make these really cool small actually I learn a lot from these I usually don't uh, understand or I don't know these words either so that one is one more to check out did i fill up your wechat now i hope so 
that was all for this little video <laughs> That was all for this little video. I hope that you liked it. I hope that you had your WeChat ready and you're just ready to go, go, go and follow, 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 follow. And that you can, you know, that you'll be able to practice more Chinese now and be happier in China and meet some more friends and just love it even more than you do already because everyone loves China, of course, according to Ling Ling. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching. Please give me a thumbs up for this video. Share with all of your friends. That would mean the world to me and subscribe if you are not yet <laughs> also check out my social media instagram lena around facebook lena around and patreon lena around and leaning is out see ya and bye bye